Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog and for today's vlog is we are going to talk all about citizenship and etiquette in online communities. So what is citizenship? Citizenship as in a citizen of the net or net citizen. It describes persons actively involved in online communities or the internet in general. It is also a person who spends a lot of time on the internet, also used to apply to any person who uses internet. Next is netiquette. It is a short for internet etiquette. Just like etiquette, it is a code of polite behavior on the internet. Social etiquette in real life is ingrained to culture, although etiquette and technology commonly referred to as netiquette. It is a fairly recent concept. So the rules of etiquette that apply when communicating over the internet are different from those applied when communicating in person or by audio or video phone. There are 8 guidelines for students to know in online communities. So first is protect your reputation. Whether in real or in virtual world, you are the same person. Do only what is appropriate and share information that does not harm you as a person. You must take down anything that is inappropriate online and put up what you would like others to know about you. Don't post inappropriate or sexual comments or photos in social media sites. Next guideline is respect others. Respect begets respect. Be judicious about what you say on your own and others' pages. Respect means you accept somebody for who they are. Even if they are different from you or you don't agree with them, respect in your relationships builds feelings of trust, safety, and well-being. Respect doesn't have to come naturally. It is something you learn. Next is express yourself clearly and use emoticons. Miscommunications usually take place because your facial expression and your body language cannot be seen and the tone of your voice cannot be heard. Emoji can help you accurately articulate your words both personally and professionally. However, it can be difficult to express your emotions and even true of voice when chatting with friends or coworkers online. Emoji can help you to clearly efficiently communicate your meaning and point when sending a message or an email to someone you work with. Next is remember the intellectual property. Ideas online are products of intelligence of others. If you need to cite them, acknowledge the author. Every business will have some form of intellectual property, not just those that deal with technologies. To appreciate the importance of this IP, it is necessary to understand the nature of different IP rights, what they protect and how the rights can be obtained and how they best be commercialized. Next is check spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Since your face cannot be seen online, you will be judged according to your post. Good writing means good manners. It's very important in making sure of everything, especially in online, because you cannot guarantee if you will be judged or not. Next is pause before you post. Take note that whatever you post become permanent, therefore think twice or thrice before you click send. Pause before your post is a movement to remind students to carefully consider the consequences of posting something online. Whether they are posting something private about themselves or something hurtful about someone else, the cost can be steep. Next, do not share personal information. Providing all information publicly will make you prone to identity theft. I mean, identify theft. Unfortunately, there are unscrupulous people on the internet who are looking to take advantage of you. As such, it's important to learn what kinds of information these individuals are looking for and how they can use your data to find you. Most importantly, you need to know how to protect yourself by guarding your information online. And lastly, think about who or what you are presenting. As a son or daughter, you represent your family. And as a student, you represent your school. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time. Bye-bye.